Hi, my name is Johnny Cash. I, I mean, my name is Teresa Webb. I'm here to tell you a story about my little brother. His name is Jeff. And sometimes we would call Jeff Dirt Clawed Holy because you see, he would get the front of his white t-shirt all dirty and it would be crusty with snot and boogers and he would twist up the bottom and stick it up his nose. And so we called him Dirt Clawed Holy. And he was walking through the kitchen one day. Mommy, she was doing dishes. Mommy says, Jeffrey, change that shirt. So he walks on into the living room, takes his shirt and twists it around. So the back was in the front. And he just walks back through the kitchen. Mommy says, oh, okay, go play. So Jeff, he goes back out and play. Comes back in later. Mommy says, Jeffrey, go change your shirt again. So he went in the other room, he took his shirt off, turned it wrong side out, and put it on in the front. Walks through the kitchen, mommy says, oh, good job, going out and play. Well, see, mommy, she does the dishes. She breaks the beans, and she just takes for granted the dirt clod holy, it's being honest and obedient. So he goes on outside, and for the fourth time comes in, mommy says, Jeffrey, can't you keep your shirt clean for just a moment? Mommy, I'm playing, their Claude Holy says. So he takes and he switches it around one more time. Well, you see, another habit that Dirk Claude Holy had was he liked to chew on his toenails. He liked to pick his toe jam and with his teeth. And how he got his toes all the way up there, I don't know. But he managed to do that. And his toenails would be bit back like my nails are today. And he would just chew on them and chew on them. Well, one day, he was a Boy Scout, too. My daddy, he was a Boy Scout leader. So they were out mowing yards for the Boy Scouts. And they went to this church. And when they went to the church, there was a slight hill. Not really, really big, but a slight hill. And so Jeff had to figure out how was he going to mow down that hill without falling. So he tried tying a string to a the lawnmower and pulling it back. Now, he was 14 at this time, so he should have had a little bit more common sense on safety issues. But he saw that that string wasn't coming back. It was going crooked. So he thought, well, I can just do this. So he took his shoes off and thought, well, he can just dig his toes into the dirt and grind himself as he goes down the hill. He would just stick his toes into the dirt, push a little farther, and stick his toes into the dirt and push a little farther and stick his toe oh, until that one foot slipped under the lawnmower and it cut his toe off. He took his toe and he wrapped it in his Boy Scout handkerchief and he come running up to Daddy. Daddy says, hey, go show Mommy. So, Mommy, Mommy. He runs up to Mommy with his toe wrapped in the Boy Scout hanky. Mommy says, well, Dirt Cloud Holy, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to Give that toe back to Mother Earth. So I want you to go dig a hole and plant your toe. So Jeff, he went and dug a hole and he put his toe in there and he covered it with dirt. Now the next day, as he woke up, he rose up, he went out to see where that toe was buried. And there where that toe was buried was this big, beautiful, luscious tree, green, covered with toes hanging off it like apples. And the toes, they were all different sizes. There were little fat toes and little short toes and pointed toes and stubby toes and piggy toes, like the ones that go to market. Some of them even had nail polish on the toes. But well, he knew those probably weren't his toes. But regardless, he went out and he took his slipper off and he tried the toes. He would pick one toe and try it on and that didn't feel quite right. So he'd pick another toe and put it on and oh, that doesn't feel quite right until he went through all of the toes that were on that tree. None of them felt right. He would put them on and he would balance, be off balance. So he gave up. He went into the house. The sun had started to go down in the western sky. And he says down at the table, mommy, what time is dinner? Pretty soon, son. So 
Jeff sits there, he waits for dinner. And Mommy's setting the table for dinner. She sets a jar of pickles on the table. Jeff opens the pickles, takes the pickle out, sticks it on his tongue. Says, hmm, that feels pretty good. It smells pretty good. And I do like the color green. So from then on out, my brother Jeff, he wore a pickle for his toe. Uh-huh.